Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you guys to Austin for my little getaway. I'm here with my fiance Alex and we are going to take you guys to different thrift stores in Austin but right now I'm actually at a Goodwill on the way to Austin and it's right here. I don't know if you guys can see. So if you guys enjoy thrift content and reselling content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Let's just get started with this video. So at this Goodwill, they had a front section and I've never seen a section like this at the thrift store. I just went to the dresses because spring is here and summer is coming up. I've been really into looking for dresses. So I was looking at this section. I thought this section was more selective, but they didn't really have anything that was really great. And like that Free People pair and this Madewell pair, they're all really marked up. So I didn't get those. And also I found this fake at the Goodwill and they charged like $9.99 but it was obviously a fake so you can also tell by looking at the buttons or like that metal part. I was looking at the dresses section at the back of the store and this is where they had their gowns so a lot of these dresses I could tell that they were like older, um, more vintage and this one looked really cute but I just didn't really like the style and I could just tell by looking at the dresses so I ended up not getting anything but I did go ahead and check out the section because prom is here and just people are going to weddings and stuff like that so make sure you check out the section at your goodwill. I went to the shoes section and they had the shoes really organized so it was really easy to see. I'm still looking for boots because sometimes boots do really well and they had a lot of shoes as you guys can tell here. I'm trying to go through the section slowly and show you guys some of the shoes that were interesting to me and just let you guys see what they had. This bag I thought was really cute and I didn't know the brand. Also they were really limited in this section. This was near like the kids aisle. Then I looked at the rest of their dresses because sometimes you can find treasure. This dress was a vintage dress. It was really cute and perfect for summer. I just didn't think that it was worth picking up because I didn't know the brand and also I was looking at these like funky patterns because I was very optimistic to find Johnny Was but I ended up not finding any Johnny Was items and this was more of a rural area. I found this cute vintage dress. They didn't have a lot at the store just because I feel like it was a smaller town and this Abel the Label dress was perfect for summer and spring but I checked comps and it wasn't worth picking up. This Everlane dress I would have picked it up but the pit stains were there and it was $8 and this sweater was so cute. This was my first time finding House of Harlow at a thrift store but they marked this up so high and there was a stain on the back. I didn't know if it would come out. I was looking at the sweater section but I don't really like to look at this section right now just because I have a lot of outerwear stuff still in my inventory so I was just mainly looking to stock up for the summertime and then I actually went and looked at the home section and found these amazing glasses but I didn't have a purpose for them because I don't have my own place. <laughs> So as soon as I walked in the store, I saw this fake Louis bag and I probably would have picked it up but I was a little bit distracted. So I was just showing you guys the bags and then the first thing Alex found was this amazing pair of mother jeans and I was so excited because that was like right when we walked in. So this is like his point of view from when he walked in the store and he was also excited so I was really proud of him. I guess they didn't know about the brand but this is just Alex going through the denim section for me and showing you guys what he saw. I am focusing on going through the dresses while he tackles the denim section so I was very proud of him and I'm just really glad to have someone else thrift with me. So this was a rag and bone pair of jeans but I'm really selective with rag and bone nowadays because they sit for a longer period of time so I didn't end up getting that but I did find a lot of great brands at this thrift store but the jeans were just really marked up so I was making sure that they were worth picking up so he did bring some jeans to me and we decided at the end but here are some brands just so you guys can see what 
you usually find at the thrift store. And this was a free people pair of jeans, but they marked it up to $14.99. That's too expensive for me to personally pick up and resell. And also, I don't really pick up color denim anymore because they're not really worth it. This was a Kern Elliott pair. And this is me going through the shoe section. I was looking at these really awesome boots, but as you guys can tell, the video is a little bit blurry but there is some separation so i sadly had to leave that behind that dress was really cute and now i'm just looking through the dresses and i found this theory blazer but they marked it up to 21.99 and i think that's just a little bit too expensive because i do have some theory blazers in my inventory and they're sitting for way too long i'm just showing you guys all the cute things that i thought would be cute to pick up but in the end, I did leave some things behind. This one was a really cute dress for like a bridal party or something like that. I would have purchased this for myself, but it was a little bit too small. <laughs> I found these Nasty Gal heels and they were so cute but they were $20 so way too expensive for me to pick up and this reminds me of the Free People pair of shoes. They're really popular and you can resell them for a lot but they were just by Target. This was another cute style by Fashion Nova but I left that behind and this was a pair of Jeffrey Campbell mules and those were really cute. So I saw three Madewell jeans from the new rack so I put them in my cart right away and I found this Isaac, I don't know how you pronounce the last name, but these heels were a little bit worn. I kind of wish I picked this up. If they were in my size, I would have gotten them, but the style just seemed to sit, so I didn't want to take the risk. And these were just older, like, Stuart Weitzman heels, so I didn't get them. And I came across this awesome pair of fry boots. These Zara flats were just saturated but if they were my size I would have gotten them because they were so cute. These were just some things that I did leave behind. This was a pair that Alex found but the style was just old and as you guys can see I left the rag and bone pair of jeans. Um, this was just a cute linen dress but I didn't think it was worth picking up. This was actually a really cute style by American Eagle but I also left that behind. This was the wave dress i think that's how you pronounce it for some reason i didn't think that was worth picking up and then i found this set by misuk but i left that behind and a really cute vintage dress i left behind you guys i just finished at the first goodwill location and it was so good so i'm so excited to share my haul with you guys i'm going to eat some tacos now <music> So this store had a great selection of dresses, like wedding dresses, and I definitely have to show you guys in case you guys need this. And I definitely wouldn't mind thrifting my wedding dress because I think that you only wear it once and you can save a lot of money. They had beautiful dresses like this one that were under $100. So in case those of you guys that need it, definitely check out different thrift stores to see if you can find a dress for yourself. But I think they had a great selection and this dress was really cute too. So they marked this dress up to $30 and I don't think the brand was special but I think it was just new with tags and this store I wanted to show you guys how much space there were between items because I don't think they had a lot of inventory so I didn't really find a lot of great brands. This was an anthropology dress I think. It was a silk dress and I for some reason I didn't get this. I think there were some minor flaws or something. This also was really cute but I couldn't tell if 20 was the price or not. They didn't really have a sticker or anything. They just had those marks and this was a vintage looking Zaya jacket. So I've made it to the fourth location of the day. This is the third Goodwill that we're going to. Hopefully this one won't let us down. 
when I do the price check, I check jeans and I can tell that this store will be expensive. And this dress was $14.99. It was really cute. I would have purchased it if it was in my size. I found this theory dress, but I just don't really pick up theory. I'm more selective with what I pick up. And this is just a preview of their dresses. So I found this wedding dress. I thought this was really adorable. And on the back, it's a more vintage style. This was only $49.99 and it had a beautiful tool skirt. This was another beautiful piece that I would have picked up to resell. This is a dress by Jenny Yu. And there were some stains, so I didn't want to take the risk of it sitting in my closet, especially paying $24.99. And this was another dress that I thought was really beautiful, but it was silk, had some flaws, so I didn't want to take the risk because silk is really hard to remove stuff from. And this is just by Reverly, I think that's how you would pronounce it. This is an Aritzia dress that I would have picked up also, but as you guys can see, there were a lot of stains on this dress and it was $12.99 so I thought it was a little bit high otherwise the dress was a really cute style and this was a Lily Plitzer dress that I didn't pick up I thought this was really fun for summertime but I didn't know how that style would do here are just some of the jeans that I came across this section was really good they had a lot of great brands but the prices were really high so I didn't get a lot of these jeans here is Ax holding a Legence pair that we did have to put back after checking comps. I was really sad because I had to put these Love Shack fancy collab shoes back and they were just really cute but they did mark this pair up to I think $20 so I didn't want to take the risk because they weren't really selling for that high. This was a line and dot sweater really cute but for some reason I didn't get this. I also came across some Kohan boots but they were marked up and I didn't know how the style would perform so I left that behind. I ended up only getting two items from this location so I think we are just going to head back to the hotel now. So that is the end of my thrift trip for today. Good morning guys, today is the second day of thrifting in Austin and I'm so excited because this is my last day in Austin and I am going to take you guys to some more locations. The first location I'm at is a Goodwill outlet store so let's go in and hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm trying to not stay for that long so maybe like 30 minutes to an hour but we'll see. Look at those chickens! So I couldn't really film in here, but this is just a clip of what I saw when I came in and that player was really cool. These are just the single shoes that I couldn't find the other pair to, so I was really bummed. This Doc Martin pair actually had a hole, so I had to leave those behind. And this was a Steve Madden pair of boots. I like the studded details and also this Eileen Fisher pair. Thought that would have been great to pick up and these Tory Burch flats were really worn so I probably would have just left those behind regardless this was a pair of boots by BP that I actually saw a lady grabbed I didn't know how to tell her that I had the other one and also I was really sad because I wanted these so bad and couldn't find the other pair so I just finished at the bins and it was all right I actually did find some things so I'm just happy that I got some things to share with you guys later on and make this trip worth it. But now I'm at the next location. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the next location. So let's go on in. At this store, I also went to the dresses section first. This was a cute dress for a bridal um, shower or just a rehearsal or something like that. But I didn't get that because I just am not familiar with selling loft items and also this brand I thought was good but it wasn't really anything so I went to the shoes section at this store they had a really organized display just like that first Goodwill I showed you guys but some of these shoes were really marked up and I didn't really end up getting anything this was just the sneaker aisle here were some of the heels and just showing you guys what they had a lot of these shoes were just older styles or just not really popular styles I would personally pick up and they had a lot of bags and this bag reminds me of the Bottega bag but it was just actually by 
Coldwater Creek. I did look at these free people overalls and you guys can tell by the price. I also saw this French Connection or it's actually a jumpsuit and I've never picked up French Connection so let me know if you guys think I should pick that up but I think that it was a little bit too pricey and then also here is just me casually skimming. I usually just skim especially if I'm on a time crunch. I just like to look at styles and this was just a boutique dress but this was very cute for springtime. It did have a whole on the front this was a, another pretty cute white dress that someone could have worn as a wedding dress or something but i didn't get that and i considered this dress for myself but it was just a little bit too long for me so it looked really awkward this was a more vintage bb dress i thought that was really cute this was a strapless peplum style lulu's dress and this was just very outdated so i didn't pick that up here is just an Amazon brand that I didn't even know but their dresses are really cute so this was brand new with tag and I thought it was very interesting I thought about this for myself but I just knew I wouldn't wear it this was marked up but it was just a boutique brand it was a very cute overall dress though and then I found another one of those Amazon dresses so this one was a maxi length wrap dress style and very cute but I left that behind as well just because it was a little bit too oversized but this little section had some really great dresses and I found a Sundance or I actually found two Sundance dresses this was a more bodycon fit but in the end I left this behind because it was $11.49 and I didn't want to take the risk this was another bridesmaids dress with some stains on the front and I don't know if I can get those stains removed. This was another Jenny Yu piece so I was really bummed I couldn't pick any of these Jenny Yu dresses up. This was just a really cute Zara dress. This was just a regular brand sold at TJ Maxx. This is just an Eileen Fisher dress but I didn't get that. This is a Madewell pair of jeans. I thought it was really awkward. It wasn't like leather but wasn't fully denim. So I left that behind. I also left this behind because again it was color and pistola jeans. I'm not really sure if I should pick them up for $8.99 so I left that pair behind. This was another Madewell pair. A black pair but there were some pulling on or just some dimpling on the front so I left that behind as well and this dress was a new brand to me I thought it was so cute very trendy but there were some pit stains and I didn't know if the deodorant stains would come out especially for silk this has some stains on the front but it was a very trendy Zara dress this was a really marked up free people dress understandably it was really high resale value but too pricey for me the final location of the day. I found this really cute fur vest but I just didn't know if I should pick it up especially for the season so I did leave that behind and this north face was just outdated or I didn't really like the style so I didn't want to pay up for that and again this store the racks were really sparse so I'm just looking at sweaters but I wasn't really fond of even looking at this section so I was just trying to get some footage for you guys I thought this was a really fun sweater but it was a little bit too small and the fit wasn't like oversized so I didn't really like that but I actually did go through the shoe section that you guys will see later and those were pretty awesome finds but this bag I thought was really cute and wanted to buy for myself but it was $10.99 and I didn't think I needed another bag. I found this Dooney and Burke wallet but I didn't really know how it would do so I would have picked it up if it was like a bag or something but I don't really like selling wallets and here I found a pretty reasonable price Blink NYC leather moto jacket but I felt like it was a little bit of an older style so I left that behind. So I like going through the jackets because I feel like it's more worth it to pick up and especially leather jackets so that's what I'm trying to do here. I did like this Forever 21 corduroy jacket but I didn't think it was necessary to pick up. I thought this Shein jacket was really cute. It's like a tweed jacket. Again, I'm just skimming for leather jackets. This was a Bershka jacket and it was really cute as well. Here are some shoes that I found. I didn't get these but they were really cute and I think they were $14.49. This coach bag was cute as well but kind of marked up and I didn't really like the style. 
Um, this mini bag was really cute, but I just didn't think I needed to pick that up because I just felt like the prices here were really expensive. This was really cool. I didn't know if I should have picked this up or not. As you guys can tell by the rack here, there were a lot of gaps. So I just didn't think there were a lot of great things at this store. These cowboy boots were really fun. They were $13.49, but they were fake leather and I didn't want to pick them up. These mud shoes were really cute as well, but I just didn't like that there were some toe prints and these were cute as well. Um, I just didn't know if I should have picked these up or not. I'm just not used to paying these prices for shoes. This was a really funny pair and this was another vintage pair of shoes that I thought were adorable and they were nine dollars so a little bit too high for me these were a little bit beat up but they were i think nine dollars as you guys can tell here so i just finished at the last location i'm going to drive home now so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already let me know if you guys enjoy a video like this and i'll see you guys next time bye